So in the previous video, we have seen how the normalization can be done to the earlier bases which are a part of the functional spaces here. So if we talk about the previous case where the normalization was not done to the bases which were the translated along with time scaled versions of the Haar scaling function and then the Haar wavelet function. So that time the relationship between the individual bases from the different functional space for example was like this. So if we have on the left hand side phi of t. So phi of t is the original Haar scaling function. Whereas on the right hand side phi of t we have obtained by adding phi of twice t added by phi of twice t minus 1. So when you see phi of twice t so you can recall that we have reduced the time interval of the original Haar scaling function by the factor 2 here. So this holds the amplitude level is equal to 1 for the duration 0 to 1 by 2 or 0 to 1.5 you can say and thereafter we have phi of 2t minus 1 the translated version by 1 unit for the functional base represented here. So the addition of these two is equal to phi of t here. So phi of t is from the other functional base you can say functional space that it is capital V0 and phi of 2t phi of 2t minus 1 is from the functional space V1 here. Similarly in the case of refinement relation between the functional space defined for the Haar wavelet function and the Haar scaling function we have the example relation here. So here we have psi of t you know that psi of t is the representation of the Haar wavelet function whereas here we have phi of 2t minus phi of 2t minus 1. So for the Haar wavelet function we know that there it is no only positive amplitude for the time duration 0 to 1 for half of the duration it is plus 1 and for rest half it is minus 1. That is why you see the sign change from the earlier equation on RHS to this equation again on the RHS here. So we have psi of t is equal to phi of 2t minus phi of 2t minus 1. So here the thing is clear on the right hand side whatever the two bases we have shown in both these equations phi of 2t and phi of 2t minus 1 these are from the functional space v1 whereas phi of t is from the functional space v0 and psi of t is from the functional space that we have defined to be w0 here. So the relationship between these functional spaces is originally called as the refinement relation. So these are the representations when there is no normalization here. In the functional space v0 we have already seen in the previous video that orthogonality as well as the orthonormality was satisfied but in V1 orthonormality was not satisfied. The integral result of the multiplication of the individual basis was required to be equal to 1 but for V1 for the example that we have selected it was coming out to be 1 by 2 and for more scaled versions for suppose V2 we were obtaining 1 by 4 so for that purpose we had to multiply a thing with the earlier representation and what we call the normalized base functions here. So after normalization what is the relation with all these. So in this example here we are having the individuals from V0, W0 and V1. So here we see the relationship from the fact that V0 and W0 are subsets of V1. So the result is that any base in V0 and W0 can be expressed using the functional basis of V1. Now as we have normalization made here for the functional basis this relation will be having a modified form here. So on the left hand side we keep the same the scaling function phi of t and then the wavelet function psi of t. 
so first of all we will focus the relationship after normalizing the basis for v0 w0 and v1 so i of t is equal to 1 by 2 times under root 2 into i of 2t add it to 1 by under root 2 multiplied to root 2 pi of 2t minus 1 so this is equal to 1 upon under root 2 pi suffix 1 comma 0 of t added by 1 upon under root 2 pi suffix 1 comma 1 of t as per the new representation that we have seen at the end of earlier video so in the similar fashion we have psi of t is equal to 1 upon under root 2 multiplied to root 2 times pi of 2t minus 1 upon under root 2 multiplied to root 2 times pi of 2t minus 1 so this is equal to in the new convenient representation 1 upon under root 2 pi sub x 1 comma 0 of t minus 1 upon under root 2 times pi sub x 1 comma 1 of t here so these are the two modified relations after the normalization here so this is true for the Haar wavelet if we are considering another wavelet system so it is not always possible that this relation will be holding true here because the fractalness of the other wavelet form will also matter for the Haar wavelet we are having only the amplitude levels 1 or minus 1 concerning to the scaling function and that of the wavelet function so now the general representation for the refinement relation between the function spaces here we have the expression phi of t is equal to summation k h of k multiplied to phi suffix 1 comma k of t which is equal to summation for the index variable k h of k multiplied to under root 2 times phi of 2t minus k whereas psi of t is equal to summation for index variable k for g of k multiplied to phi sub x 1 comma k of t that is equal to the summation k g of k multiplied to square root 2 times phi of 2t minus k so specifically for the Haar wavelet if we represent the first equation here we have phi of t equal to the summation for k is equal to 0 to 1 h of k into phi suffix 1 comma k of t this we can also rewrite as summation k is equal to 0 to 1 h of k multiplied to square root 2 multiplied phi of 2t minus k whereas psi of t is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to 1 g of k into phi suffix 1 comma k of t this is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to 1 g of k multiplied to square root 2 times phi of 2t minus k here so in this representation we can have for the Haar wavelet h of 0 is equal to 1 by 2 1 by root 2 h of 1 is equal to again 1 upon root 2 g of 0 is equal to 1 upon root 2 and g of 1 is equal to minus 1 upon root 2 here so whatever the h of k we have the representation in the above equations we can regard as the low pass scaling filter coefficients whereas g of k are regarded as the high pass wavelet filter coefficients here so this was all about the refinement relations concerning the normalized basis here so i suppose we are clear to understand a wavelet system where we concern both the wavelet scaling function and the wavelet function along with the refinement relation as discussed with the known set of coefficients as denoted by h of k and g of k.